Hey folks, PCOCast here, back with more Tower of Time. We're now at 39% of the entrance. We've got half the chests. Uh, we've got all the blueprints. Got a couple of the scrolls too. So we're making a little bit of progress. And since uh, we sided with Eric, we got plus one, plus point one mana regen. Uh, I'm not sure if her attack speed went down. I can't uh, remember. Yeah, not too sure. Uh, their health points are up, which is great. And they can still go up another level before I have to find more blueprints. That is also very good. What is that? When crafting, understand that all quality levels of gear have value. Sometimes that green item is just as useful as an item of higher quality, especially when, especially when green items have more potential to up, be upgraded within the forge. Interesting. Okay, is she... Uh, do I actually switch her over to the, the vampiric steel bow of sparks? So she gets four health per hit. I assume that's what it means. She's she is receiving four health per hit, which is going to be really handy. She is not going to need healing nearly as much. Okay, so we've got a battle over here. We've got some stuff to discover over here, and we need to. We still can go back. Uh, there's this battle here. There's the forge which we can go light up. Maybe we should go do that. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here and do the forge. Put that coal in there and see what happens. We most likely have to find a lot more of this coal before we can use this forge, but let us see if we have enough to light it. Ooh, yep. Got a little bit of fire going. Nice. By the great spirits, it roars to life. The heat is nigh unbearable, even from this distance, all from a single piece of that strange coal. The champions can upgrade an item of their choice now. Click on the forge and then move the item over the crafting icon. The magic of the forge requires ample time to recharge. You will not be able to upgrade another item here for some time. However, there may be other forge forges within the tower, as we have already discovered. Okay, so we can upgrade an item now. Hmm. So she's got her real nice uh, bow. His sword still does not look like it can be upgraded. That's a shame. We got a blue... A blue warhammer, which would replace this, right? Hmm, there's a lot of physical damage, which is nice. It's also got that, let's see. Yeah, these are all fairly close. This one does the earth damage though, which is quite nice. It also increases mastery by two. That one increases might by two. That one doesn't do anything. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should give him big, big, you know, big two-hander. Do I want to? Do I want to keep him? Um, you know, keep him strong with, so he can he can take a beating. I mean, generally wiping things out quickly is is a good way to go, but. What's the possibility of like upgrading that? Unfortunately, I can't see what the upgrade is going to be. Which kind of sucks. It's really hard to know like what what the best um what the best thing is to do. Like they just they just threw me for a curve there. Oh, green items could be better than blue items because they could have more upgrade potential. I'm like, oh boy. Well, I, I guess it's true that this one 
actually does more, does um, almost as much damage as this one, and it's a whole tier lower, right? But it doesn't have the magic. I don't know if I should upgrade that. It also has might and critical chance. I mean, the uh, sort of chance is great against undead, but uh, right now we're not running into a lot of undead. Yeah, let's let's upgrade that and just see. All right, so that's got a fair bit of damage. Let's switch him over to that for now. Can't make two different um, groups of. Sometimes you can have like two different sets of gear. Okay, that's going to do like significantly more damage. So we'll put that there, and um, now this place has got a rest, right? It's lost its magical properties. You cannot upgrade anything else. Okay, so that. Oops, no. That um, quest should be done. Ancient Forge is now lit. We can go back to Syndros and do that. I'm still wondering if I should maybe wait until I find something else. Because this is like, well, he might be satisfied with that. I'm just wondering if there's any other live things that I could grab. We're also looking for more ancient journals. And uh, we've got the Descent. We also got Threat of the Risen. Find Devron. Your champions have discovered that the strange green skinned creatures are raising the dead. Seek out Devron, the ancient spirit of health, father of summer, and plenty. Perhaps he can explain how to destroy or negate this magic source. Okay. We've cleared everything else. There's just there's that battle which we're waiting on. There's the broken bridge, the orc camp there, the old ar old armory. Okay, a battle there. Let's uh, talk about that. And um, there's nothing else here that I missed. Eh? No gold. Most importantly, gold so we can upgrade. And then we were there. Oh, there's something in here with gold. Nice. Uh, remnants. It looks like this was an armory. There are rusted remnants of the smith's handiwork. These common items did not survive the test of time. That's a shame. Oh, note. Secret note. There is no need for any crossbow here, even as ancient as mine. I will oil it, wrap it in cloth, and hide in the secret crystal cave nearby. The passage is hidden behind green ivy opposite the forge, so it will stay there safe from rust. May I never need it again. Interesting, okay. So there's a forge. I have green ivy opposite the forge. A hidden cave near the forge. I did not notice a single trace when we passed by. It must be extremely well concealed. Interesting. That's, I guess that would be... That must must be... Um, secret place number two. This must have been a sleeping area underneath one of the beds of champions. Find what remains of a stuffed animal with a long neck. This child's toy seems... Macavar in such surroundings. That's sad. Oh yeah, just get all the gold. And another chest. With a mountain of steel bassinet. And some gold. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, okay, he can't wear it. She can. He cannot. That gives me one extra armor, some extra resistances. Less resistance to air, though. Um, same number of health points and stuff. Basically, lots of earth resistance. Okay. Seems fine. Okay, so there's several archers there. 
And then there's these guys. That's a lot of guys. So apparently, so there's a forge, and then across from the forge is some green place? Secret thing? Okay, let's just, let's deal with these guys. Bunch of risen archers. Where are they going to be coming from? There, 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 potentially there? Okay. She can do fire. You can do uh, that guy. You can do this. Oh, get wrecked. Nice. Go over there and attack. Oh yeah, he's doing a lot of damage. Slower, but uh, grief. They're just like peppering him like to death. Hmm. Um. How about? We do something like this. Nice. Awesome. Oh yeah, I got wrecked. Now they're gonna get, they're gonna get murdered. Oh, he's he's kind of taking a bit of a beating here. And jump in there and toast those guys. Sweet. Take them all out. That guy. That guy. Bring it up. Get in here and get this guy. Hit him again. Yeah, it's quite a bit slower, right? Eh? Oh, I need help. Health! Health! Health, man, health! Oof. Okay, you do. Healing, right there. Keep him alive. Oh yeah, that would be great. Thank you very much. Let's draw this across here. He's not in good shape. Let's try... Hmm. Smoke screen. Create a smoke screen, teleports. Don't want to teleport. I wanna, yeah, let's blind them. Sweet. And you can also cast that thing right there. He's still taking damage, come on, man. Hang in there, buddy. Mighty Steel Sabatons of Breeze. Might, health, movement speed, attack speed. Nice. Well, that wasn't quite as simple as I thought it was going to be. Can he wear these? I don't think he has. He's got steel sabdons. Yeah, this has more resistances and movement speed, attack speed, and might. Sounds good. Okay. Cleared that out. Another scroll. Two more scrolls. Seem lost in thoughts, horns with gifts. Raising one eyebrow. An elf could no more get lost in his thoughts than a fish forgot how to swim. All right, forget I asked. If you must now, I've been thinking on the vision of the past. What about it? Something that's been bothering me. Only one something? Well, spit it out. The globes of dark blue light, the per precursors of magic. Where did they come from? I've been wondering that myself. Why engage me in conversation if you're going to speak for the both of us? 
wide-eyed. Kill a girl for jumping to conclusions, why don't you? What? The social infraction hardly seems worth your life. I would never even consider. Never mind, Horns, just tell me what's on your mind. Very well, I was trying to ascertain why we don't see any of the blue globes of light today. That's a... With, with the way you've been concentrating so much over here, I thought you were curing famine or something equally grand. Anyway, who knows why the glowy things don't come around anymore. Maybe they've all been used up, or maybe they, they only come around every thousand years. Maybe. Regenerative oils. Level 1. Restores 0.5% health each second. Uh, enchantment for leg armor. Can You can add this enchantment to relic items. Okay. And another one. Can You can add to chest armor. Wooden shelves. These shelves are stocked with meat and other provisions. It appears that the orcs use this area as a storehouse. Uh, another one-handed sword of poison this time. Okay, so this goes back to those other guys if we if we want to fight them, which is probably a good idea. It, although it doesn't it doesn't actually give us uh, like experience to kill them. Instead, it kind of oh hello ambush time. Looks like we got orcs, orc warrior, archer, shaman, a cyclops, and an earth caller? The heck are those things? So they're weak to water and air, that's good, I guess. Um, earth caller summons magma rock with 120 health and five to nine fire damage per attack for 30 seconds can be destroyed. Uh, throw boulder, giant rock that deals 70 physical damage in 3 meter radius. Pulls his target to himself when outside melee range. Yuck. He's got the earth cry and so forth. Okay. This is going to be fun. So we need to start out by getting Maeve out of there. Or, well, we need to try to get her out of there as best we can. Attack! You, uh, no, 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 you, hello, you, why can't I select him? I want you to put the, uh, put the ant over there. Nice. Oh, what? I put a health thing over there? God oh, damn it. Whoa. Damn, you, over here. Move. Move. Get out from uh, from amongst them there. Damn. Oh, that massive. Ah, uh, excellent. Okay. She can do W. Oh, nice. They're getting toasted. And he is coming in for the attack. Uh, who's being targeted? Oh, he's actually being being targeted. Okay, go over there and bash him. You start attacking this guy. And you come back in here, and let's get this guy to uh, to enchant everybody with that. Uh oh. Um, move him over there, and you over here. Ah, got that damn attack thing. That she can't actually attack from here. Move up. Oh, he's gonna take Beating man, move him back as quickly as possible. Can he do healing yet again? Yes, he can. 
once he's actually in a position to do so. Go in there and whack that guy. Oh, and get out of the attack area. My, ow, still got hit with that thing. Whatever that is, that's coming in now. Guess that guy's getting, I don't know. Oh, he's, that's fine, pull me in, that's, that's cool. And she hit everybody with one. You get over here. And you do healing. Uh, no, not yet. Can, can, dude, can you move over here, please? Get out of that attack area. You do the, the healing thing on here. Move him back over there. Alright. That's good. Mm, that guy's almost dead. Is he gonna do that whole... No. Move out of the way. If he can. Nope, not really. You chuck the ant over there. Awesome. Ah, get out of the way. Oh no, two been poisoned. Crap. Oh, let's do this. Damage. Nice. Ooh, wish I could do that thing right now and do a lot of damage to them. Um, let's let's set a bear trap right there, and then uh, blast them all with blind. this like that to protect her we activated some of those uh, things she's getting poisoned totally poisoned and that's it nice they needed some healing and a couple of those things where they got pulled was a bit of a pain in the butt but there you go destructive destructive gold amulet Critical chance and healing and things. They just rushed at us this time, no words spoken. So much for any chance of peaceful relations. We cannot fault ourselves, these creatures are full of deep-seated rage. Not the blind loathing of the Risen, but a focused anger. They fight with an almost desperation in their manner. Even we have, if even if we had found a way to speak with them, it's unlikely the outcome would have been any different. Right. Ooh, some fancy thing. Oh, this is Devon. Mana Siphon number one restores one mana per each weapon hit. Can be put on a ring. This is Devron. Ah, uh, the champions have arrived. My sister, Rathora, foresaw your coming long ago. I have been observing your progress with great pleasure. It's a dull existence down here, watching the Risen mill around aimlessly and the orcs gibbering in a language too crude to decipher. Who are those orcs? They're green-skinned savage beasts. They are responsible for the Risen, and the task of destroying their source of magic falls to your shoulders. And what exactly is in it for us? Maeve, do not presume to speak on our behalf. You are not in command of this mission. I know you are controlled by another. It is he who will deliver us from this scourge. It's been foretold. Though primitive and unfamiliar, the orcage ma orcish magic can be undone, but I cannot do it so alone. Seek out the help of my sisters, Al Alidra, Alidra, Alidra? 
and Rithora. Their respective energy must be channeled into the focus prism. The statues to communicate with them are nearby. I'll rest better knowing the tower is rid of both the orcs and the risen, but I still say it seems like we're doing a lot of work for free. You will do the task set before you, as your master bids you, and as his master bids him in turn, just as it has been foretold. Perplexed. I wonder what masters he speaks of. I wouldn't get too hung up on it, Horns. Some of these statues can be a little eccentric. At Maeve, do you understand? Do I understand you mean to be addressing me? Yeah, you know, those big curvy things on your head? Come on. If we're going to do this, let's find those other two statues and be done with it. Places his hand on Eric's shoulder. The king's high courier has her own way with words. Do not be concerned. You will get used to it. You may even come to find it part of her charm. Indeed. <laughs> She's calling him horns this whole time and is like, Wait, are you referring to me? Skeletons. Two skeletons propped against the wooden beam. They seem to have been brought here and discarded. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, more enemies down there, and some sort of portal thing. More enemies there. Lava. Well, that's that's a good sign. Some kind of weird orb thingy? Is that? Ooh, that is actually an enemy. No, this is the enemy down here. What the heck that is. We've got a fountain. The water in this fountain has unknown magic properties. Does any of your champions wish to drink from it? Ooh boy. Well, let's try him. Oh no. Might dec dec decrease by one. Well, that sucks. Hey, we've got a chest. With another a volcanic steel bassinet of sacrifice. And a new teleport stone. And some more enemies. Oh, that's the ones that we came across from the other side. No problem. Is this better than what she's got? It's got fire resistance. Makes her weak to water, earth, and air. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, it could be useful in certain situations, but in general, no. Hold. And... Apparently I can't... Go this way. Okay, so we got an enemy here, and it got a lot of enemies around. A lot of enemies around. Maybe I should go and try and find that secret place. Alright, you know what? I'm going to end this episode here, and we'll try and see what we can find in the next episode. Thanks very much for joining me. See you next time.